Well, hey there, we're back on the white farm. And I wasn't kidding when I said we were going to take this series slow. <laughs> on episode 8. Just in September. At the end of September. So, on the last episode I was moving some of the silage over. Well, the, uh, the hay. Not the hay. The straw. Over to the fermenter. Ended up putting uh, quite a bit in there. Uh, over 200,000. And what do we have left in the barn? About 45,000. I thought that would be plenty to use for bedding or mixing uh, with food, whatever we need. So we're looking good. Uh, you see some of the prices are starting to rise as we're getting near toward the end of the year. So that's good too. I did do one thing since the last episode. I actually uh, removed a tree that was right here. And I put in another one of these garden beds uh, to grow some more strawberries because I'm actually having a hard time keeping up with the uh, processing, the uh, jam processing. So I need to ramp up my strawberry production. And in order to do that, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to make a, we're going to make a purchase and we're going to kind of remodel. Well, not remodel, but I guess add to the farm. So what I need to first do is hop in the truck here. And we're gonna go get the trailer. Not the flatbed, the livestock trailer. I'll show you why here in just a moment. Well, no, we're not gonna buy more chickens. <laughs> It is late in the day here uh, on or in game and so my plan is to do a little bit of work here we're going to get some things set up and then we'll advance to the next day to see if what I do made a difference all right so we have the horses here and I don't want them I know some of you have recommended that I buy this plot of land and have the horses uh, I thought about it but I think I can use this land for something a little bit better. So, I have $18,000. So, we'll go ahead and buy this little plot of land. It's tiny. It's right here. $4,500. bucks. let us buy it. Now, we own some horses. Uh, if we look at the menu for the horses, I doubt they're in very good shape. Yeah. So, they are... Uh. They're not worth very much, to be honest with you. But we're going to sell them. We're going to sell these back to the animal dealership. Maybe they can find them a home. Now that lady's... <laughs> I don't know where she went. She's behind the trailer somewhere. Alright, that one's in the trailer. And that one is in the trailer. Got the two horses in the trailer. And what I'm going to do now is sell the horse pen. $996 back. So, well, that's that's $1,000 off the cost of that piece of land already. So that's not bad. Let me back up here and we'll turn around. Oh, oh. oh good. She didn't get hurt. <laughs> So we'll take these down to the animal dealership and get them sold. Uh, they're not going to bring much. Not much at all. But every little bit helps. Because we're going to have to make a fairly significant purchase. And I'm actually concerned that I'm going to have to take out a little bit of a loan to get through this. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Oh shoot, we're stuck. Here, let me turn my beacon on so y'all can see me coming. You know, I do like the traffic. I think it adds a dynamic to these maps, but sometimes I just don't like it. Alright. 
Let's see what we can get for these horses. Not a whole lot. That's okay. And I know I could have could have fattened them up or kept them for a couple days and improved their health. Probably got a lot more for them. Or a little bit more for them anyway. But yeah, I just didn't want to fool with that because I think my what I'm going to do with this piece of land will end up being just a little bit more efficient anyway. So we'll just scooch back right over here to back to the farm. And we'll get going. I'm swinging wide here, trying to make it before that car gets here. We'll go ahead and put this back under the shed because I don't need uh, this trailer anymore. But we will need the flatbed, I believe. Very good. Flatbed is right over here. I'm going to go ahead and hook to it. Now we're going to drive back over to that piece of land. Alright. Okay. So we're back here on, on the plot of land and I'm going to go stand right over here on the edge where that horse pen was let's see about right here okay let's look at the map real quick because I'm not entirely sure how big so yeah it looks like that plot of land was pretty much as big as that horse pen let's run down here to this edge we might have a little bit further on this end Yes, a little bit. So, looks like it probably goes to about these bushes somewhere along in here. Alright, so. I have $14,972. Let's see if I can afford what I want to buy. Oh, yes I can. So this is a, uh, it's called a fruit greenhouse. Uh, it's on the Mod Hub. And the interesting thing is it actually has... A uh, discharge spout. You can actually get this out in bulk. So, I am pretty sure that the, you know what, let me turn on some trigger markers here because I want to make sure that I put it down correctly. Looks like it's facing the right way. I think everything is correct. So, we should be able to bump it up pretty close over here. Let me see. Let me make sure. Yeah, we can back in, get water on that side. All right. I think that will work. We're going to put it back as far as we can. Probably about right there. And there we go. We've got this greenhouse put into place. And I'll do some landscaping around it later on. But uh, what we need to do, I think it takes some different products. So let me jump in here and see. I believe we need fertilizer and herbicide. Uh, let's see, for tomato strawberries, we need seeds, solid fertilizer, and herbicide. I do have a tiny bit of solid fertilizer at the farm, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and buy a pallet of each. We'll get one pallet. Well, you know what? Let's get two pallets, and I'm going to have to take a loan out to do that. We get two pallets of each product. I don't know how much it's going to... You know what? Let me... I may be able to see in the menu here. It may take... Yeah, see, it takes a whole lot more seeds than it does these. So we need twice. We get two pallets of seeds and one fertilizer, one herbicide. And I'm just getting a, that to start off with because I don't have a ton of money and hopefully this will be fruitful. <laughs> yeah, I did. 
can make some strawberries so we can make some jam and then make some money I also have the silage coming up soon too uh, that we could potentially sell and use that proceeds to buy some more pallets of product of seeds and fertilizer and herbicide if we need to so there's there's hope in the future I just need to get to that point so we're just going to take a little tiny loan out all right let's go ahead and get the loan real quick uh just I'll borrow 10,000 I'm not sure we'll need that much and we'll go ahead and buy what we need uh so let's see what do we have here I don't know what the best deal is I don't know if big bags or we'll just get the big bag pallets so we'll get two seed pallets and one solid fertilizer and one herbicide Okay, and we still have $6,100 left, so I may get rid of that or pay back $5,000 before we sleep tonight. Let me go ahead and get these loaded up. And again, I'm using Super Strength at the shop. I don't have a problem with that. What I'm going to have a problem with is getting this stuff off the trailer because... <laughs> Oh, that little Massey is not very strong. I think, you know what? I probably should just go ahead and get that pallet fork. Let's see if we can get it unloaded. Matter of fact, I may be able to just pull through the trigger area and it unloads. I'm really not sure. We'll find out here in just a minute. All right, straps on, and we are going. So, yeah, I was, uh,. As I was moving the bells over and just looking at the silo uh, situation with getting that silage made, I just got to thinking, I was like, you know, there's just winters coming up and I've got nothing going really. Uh, so I don't have a ton of crops in the, in the silo that we can sell. We don't have a ton of hay or silage that's built up that we can sell. We do have some, but not very much. So... I just thought I've got to get another source of income rolling in to hopefully uh, you know, make some money over the winter time while things are slow. And so that is why I decided to go ahead and ramp up production on strawberries and then hopefully be able to output the uh, strawberry jam as well. And this particular greenhouse with its discharge chute should be interesting uh, because I can just use a trailer all right so I think oh the stuff is going in right there how about that the herbicide is not that may go in over at the water tank let's try that since it is a liquid well that was easy We'll just pretend the stuff just went out through the cracks <laughs> in the boards on the trailer. Nope, that is not working. Let me close these doors. I tell you, I still get that stuttery lag when I'm walking around this truck. I, I really like the truck, but something's going on with it. Okay, so that is not working. I think I'm going to have to get that down closer to the to the water tank so let me go grab the Massey you know what? I'm just gonna blink over to it there we go let me get the doors open and we're gonna have to grab the pallet forks and the water tank or the water trailer Trailer I have around 
over here beside, or well, in the little shed over here beside the, the little gardens. And maybe this will, this water tank full will be enough weight to hold the back end of this tractor down. We may have trouble. May have trouble. Do have one pallet of jam ready to go. So that's pretty exciting. Let's see if I can get this moved so I can get to the IBC. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the ramps down. And just do that. See if I can't just drag it off the back. I guess that guy's going to stand there and watch. <laughs> Buddy, if you only knew how bad a driver I am, you wouldn't be standing there. Uh oh. That is very interesting. Does this have some kind of disable? Oh, there we go. I had no idea these things had a collision. What in the world? What is going on? Uh, something is glitching out here. Something's glitching out. All right. Well, I didn't want to do this, but we're just going to have to. I'm not cheating, folks. I'm working with the system here. Let's set it down here. Maybe something's going on with that trailer. Or when we pull through the trigger, maybe that is something. Let's see. Now I can't even get in the tractor. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get it now. I'm trying to trying to do this right and not cheat. Oh, uh, I have no idea why that will not pick up that tote it is just a standard pallet fork but either way we're moving on uh did i where does this go in okay well, folks, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Let me, uh... You know what, let's see. Sometimes... Let's see if I can get it close enough. And let's just get the... See if we can get the forks underneath it. I don't know what's going on with these pallet forks. Why are they not giving a collision? detach them real quick could be the forks All right you know what I'm gonna do let's do some, some little bit of trickery right here let me see let's see if I can get this where it will work we're gonna try something here let's see I'm just gonna reset them oh I can't see them If I reset them, maybe it'll clear what's, what the problem's going on. Sometimes things just glitch glitch out and don't know why.
There we go. How about that? However, it is still not going in the in the greenhouse. So maybe it has to go in the other location. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we just don't have enough weight on this tractor. All right, let me figure out how to get this herbicide in the thing and bring it right back. All right, I think I finally got it figured out. I had to do quite a bit of testing, uh, but I think I figured something out. I just rented this hardy fertilizer tank. So what it seems is that the, uh, the greenhouse won't accept the herbicide directly out of the IVC. I have to empty it out from a tanker and then now you can see I can load it into the greenhouse. So I didn't know that going into this. So that kind of changes some things. I'm now going to have to figure out uh, a tanker situation to try to get the herbicide into to the greenhouse. So we do have water in there now. I do have this, but it is only for water. Uh, so I'm going to have to try to find some little trailer to put the herbicide in but we should now have all of our products yep everything's good we don't have a lot of it in there but yeah, as you can see we already got 79 strawberries that is making really fast I just started putting that in there so I'm going to go ahead and return that uh, sprayer so I'm just going to return that and so now so oh, we can go ahead and move on to the next day and just want to see how this produced how much we ended up with okay so it is the next morning 8 a.m. and as you can see uh, these gardens have only produced one pallet overnight uh, they don't have any strawberries they the pallets just dropped out that one has okay so that one this one over here has 469 so a pallet will come out uh, soon but one pallet each over there let's go check on the greenhouse and see how that made out oh how many uh, jam pallets do we have we're only at one pallet so still have a ways to go to get another one there be interested to see how well you know what there won't be any pallets with her because there isn't but let's go ahead and see can we get the display oh my gosh 10,000 liters of strawberries? Oh. oh my gosh. Wait a minute. That, that, that can't be right. That can't be right. So this one overnight made of uh, like one pallet, 500 liters. These two here, yeah. This made 10,000 liters of strawberries. Oh my gosh. Of course, we're out of seeds and out of fertilizer. It would have made even more. Holy cow. This is the ticket, folks. All right. Well, I guess I got some work to do to get some more products in here so we can make some more strawberries. And then we'll haul these over. See about making some jelly. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. I want to I see how this works. We're going to leave that truck. Actually, you know what? Let's just leave that tractor there. Let's just take the case. We'll go grab... Wrong one. There we go. Let's go get the trailer. I just want to see how this works. This is interesting, folks. I, I mean, 10,000 liters. Oh, my goodness. Matter of fact, I could almost sell that other little greenhouse. Man, that is amazing. Amazing. Alright, let's run down there real quick. We'll grab some strawberries and put those into the jelly factory and see how this works out. It's supposedly it's supposed to bulk fill into the trailer, so we'll see. We'll see how this works. The problem is going to be backing it in. That's going to be a little tricky. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's 
So it is just like a silo. Look at that. Look at that. Bulk strawberries. And it doesn't matter because... They are going to be squished up into jelly anyway, so hey, if they get a little bruised up, no problem. No problem. Let's go see if we can get this into the uh, production plant <laughs> back here behind these green greenhouses or garden beds, whatever you want to call them. Look at that dog out there swimming in the water. That crazy dog. Let's just make sure this works out. I hope I haven't made. Ooh, you know, how can I do this? Got an idea. Got an idea. I may have to drive through the bush here just a little bit. But let's see if we can't swing around over this way. If I keep this up, I may have to invest in a trailer I can back a little easier. That or get rid of that one I placed so they have a way to get in and out of here all right let's see if I can do this oh look at that start overloading strawberries and they are going in that is fantastic and I don't have to deal with the pallets to uh, 8,000 liters that have been 16 pallets that I didn't have to haul this is the ticket folks this is the ticket and so if we go over here to our jelly factory check it out the strawberries are going in the jam comes out that is awesome thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to click that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already we'll see you back here next time hopefully with some pallets of jam to sell <laughs>